Happy New Year, Some Tribe. 2020 was a rough year and challenged us in many different ways. I know I learned a ton and continue to learn a ton every day. To welcome in the new year, we wanted to review the top 10 patient simulation YouTube videos of 2020. This video is a list of the top 10 videos me and my team talked about all year. Topics covered range from technical expertise to the need for clinical experience was provided by simulation. Hold on to the end because I'm also going to reveal the video series I am most excited to see launched in 2021. All all the videos we're about to talk about are linked in the description as a playlist to make them easy for you to find. While you're down there, please subscribe to our channel and click the thumbs up on this video. Now let's get into our top 10 YouTube videos of 2020. Coming in at number 10 on our list is the Society for Simulation and Healthcare webinar on remote training using Zoom. John Lutz's presentation is posted on the Wiser Minutes YouTube channel. We were doing this exact method and hearing that a larger center was doing the same thing was really a big boost in our confidence. After watching this hour and nine minute long how-to video, we were able to focus back on training rather than analyzing our own methods. The number nine video was honestly one of the most fun for me. Neil Taylor's presentation on creating a vomiting mannequin and its uses showed a great method for what is a really challenging problem. I have not had a chance to try this yet, but our team has been sending around a ton of emails wanting to. The UV dye really made things stand out and showed the contamination in a new light. This video is a 20 minute visual explanation of a process and posted on the Trent Simulation and Clinical Skills Center channel. Comment below with the video that made the greatest impact on your year. If it wasn't one of these, what was it? Coming in at number eight is getting started with simulation escape rooms with Jim Bim, Gene Valco, and Brian Wallenberg. This 55 minute panel discussion is posted on one of the Laird All Medical channels. The video discusses this new and increasingly popular method of training and I really like like how the escape rooms bring together teams while utilizing critical thinking and clinical skills. Their discussion on the incorporation of simulators as well as their educational results really brought on some great conversation with our team on opportunities in our own curriculum. There's also some interesting examples that are posted on Twitter. Number seven on our list is a look at the evolution, essentials, and the future of simulation-based education by Dr. Pamela Jeffries. This hour and 10 minute video really breaks down the foundational importance of simulation and the relationship of clinical time and education, as well as best practices in the field as we move into the future. Really appreciate the Society for Simulation in Europe for capturing this presentation on their CSIM online channel. You can always find great presentations and discussion here, but we use this time to really dig into debriefing and what we should be doing in our teams. Their Lou Obendorf online lecture series is an excellent look at global simulation efforts as well. Our sixth most talked about video was from the Center for Medical Simulation channel. While this channel has had a ton of great presentations in this last year with their weekly webinar series, this discussion with Dr. Mary Fay and Dr. Chris Rosen on their Circle Up methodology has turned into a regular discussion point at our faculty training. This hour-long presentation on briefings, peer check-ins, and debriefings provides opportunities not only in the simulation space, but in the clinical team operation space as well. New clinicians in general should definitely check this out. Our our fifth most discussed topic was actually a series of videos. The Healthy Simulation Medical Simulation Resources channel released their series of recordings from IMSH 2020 Vendor Showcase. When I looked at them as a whole, our team really learned a ton from these and discussed numerous opportunities for collaborations around campus. I look forward to these videos every year. The video I am showing here was my first look at Echo Mask. While the pandemic has slowed our expansion of resources, we really want to check these out soon. At number four, we have another Society for Simulation and Healthcare webinar. This video on cleaning and disinfecting in simulation by William Bell, Katie McKinsey, and David Shyblack served as a baseline for how we have developed our current pandemic procedures. You can find this one on the Simulation Tech channel. The Sim Geeks podcast is also located on the channel, but the podcast will be moving to their own channel in 2021, so watch for the change. One thing that has really improved in 2020 is more frequent 
frequent discussions of racial disparities and equitable care in medicine as a whole. Lairdahl Medical posted a presentation by Dr. Desiree Diaz diving into how to expose, explore, and promote equitable care through patient simulation. Pretty impressive that this comes in as our number three considering that it came out one month ago. We've had a lot to discuss on this particular video. While we see some areas like diabetes care where we're doing a decent job in discussing these disparities, we found some major opportunities that exist in improving our curricula. Many of these changes will occur in 2021. This is also another video that made it into our faculty development watch list. The second video on our list is Dr. K.T. Waxman and Dr. Carol Durham discussing the use of simulation to replace much needed lost clinical experiences this year. This hour-long video was posted in March when our curriculum was really changing fast. Definitely appreciate the Society for Simulation and Healthcare for posting this webinar so fast to aid all of our teams. I always enjoy hearing these two teach in general and having their points of view so early really change things. The best example is that in addition to my simulation faculty, it was extremely useful in providing evidence to leaders in our other interprofessional faculties. Getting these non-simulation people on board with expanding our programs was not easy, but this video definitely helped me make the argument. We have learned so much this year and many of the opportunities discussed here will be acted upon by our teams in many years to come. And here we are for our number one most discussed video of 2020. This one's actually another series as well. The Center for Medical Simulation released the Virtual Museum series. This is a brilliant archive of simulation history in seven chapters that were all interviews done with Dr. Jeff Cooper. The work discussed here has been pivotal to the growth and development of the current world of simulation and healthcare. Many on our team did not know some of this history and the conversations that we have had about lab funding models, research opportunities, and technology have been extremely useful for our team. I'm excited to see what they cover next. Looking into 2021, I expect we will have a ton of exciting webinars and lecture series posts to keep ourselves learning. I promised a bonus of what I'm excited about the most, and here it is. This Old Mannequin is a series coming to the Simulation Tech channel later this month. This promises to be an incredible series with interesting refurbishing videos and general maintenance tips that will help all of us keep our facilities focused on education. Click the playlist here to start watching the videos we have discussed. Comment below with which of these was your favorite or tell us about another video that really impacted you and your team.